Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode four of season two of My Next Life Was Villainous. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. <laughs> you know, I, I think he's more than a butler. I mean, what gave it away? Girl, you need to get out. <laughs> That's how you know you about to have a real good sleep. <laughs> uh. Oh, well, yeah, that is the best nap, too. I mean, because what time did she go to sleep? Because she said she wasn't going to go to sleep anyway, so... Mm. Well, of course. I'm busy. Okay, will we meet your master today or are we going to meet him in like umpteen weeks? Umpteen weeks! Thank you! <laughs> But see, okay, why? So once again, this goes back to like any other series that I've seen. To overthrow the kingdom? Thank you. Oh, look at the omelet. Well, you 
know, she is a growing girl. Really? I mean, because it's Katarina. Katarina sees the good in people. Yeah. Mm. So, where are you from? Teeny tiny bit. Hmm? Uh, uh, oh, okay. I don't think that was rude. I think he's like taken back slash shocked about it. He seems sweet, even though he's a bad guy. Damn, y'all talk all day. So then what's her actual name? Okay, just give us one. <laughs> so close but saved by a stomach growl <laughs> Of course, you did what you had to do.
So he gave you the name Rufus, Sora? Well, Sora's not like many people. Well, in order to do that, you have to be high in society. You pass away. You can just see it's affected them so much, like just cheekbones. Mm, funny. Well, yes, but we're talking about like almost in society because you are a royal and and he's, you know, a worker. Come here, Cody. No, no, on my side, on my side.
god, are we trying to seduce you? Oh my god! Yes, but you ruined the moment. Like, oh my god. He's so pretty, though. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, because I think you're going to go to jail. Mm. Well, <laughs> I just need to know who he's voiced by. That's it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's it. Right now.
And that's sad tears. They have tears. Like, Do you four want to be on guard duty now? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was not expecting that. No, 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 no. But of course, yes, Gerardo is the one who is the most jealous. I mean, yes, because these two are supposed to be together by the end of this series, no matter what. I mean, yes, like, mm. That's what you gotta be jealous all the time. I mean, damn. <laughs> I was expecting Mary to, you know, come in swoop and maybe be the one to kiss her. But the fact is that everybody, everyone was upset about the, the hickey. <laughs> but like, yeah, number one, I really need to know who Soto was voiced by. Because like, he, he, oh my god, like, just right now, please let this man come back in a couple episodes. Like, in the second half, I'm fine with that. Even though you, your girl is still in love with Alan, but like. This episode just made me fall in love with this too. I'm like, oh my god, I can't. But I feel so bad for him because, of course, yes, even, you know, someone who usually is a bad guy has, like, possibly the most tragic backstories and you get to see why they became this most iconic villain. Hell, look at all the damn freaking uh, Disney villains. Like, straight up, every freaking single Disney villain, like... Well, what was the... Cruella was the last, like, live action. But, like, look at every single Disney villain. And then when you look more into their history and such, and you see that when they were human and da -da -da, before they were tempted by, like, evil and everything, they had a good life and then someone messed it up for them. And then next thing you know, that's one of the big reasons of why their life is so tragic. And then they're like, you know what? I'm gonna turn to evil because, you know, being good ain't the best thing for me right now. <laughs> But, I mean, the fact is that, you know, he, someone found him, taught him how to read, write, and everything, and to finally have a friend or someone who he could re rely on, and in the end, have that person be taken away from him due to an illness, and he was trying his damn hardest to save him, but because of the fact is it was a medicine that was expensive, the only thing that he could resort to is stealing. And in the end, he got punished for it, not only for getting caught by, you know, uh, the knights, and, um, not even the knights, the guards, but also the person who he cared about the most at the time, perishing um, from the illness and such. And so I think he's now, he's taken that almost as somewhat of a revenge, almost like what's his face from the first half of the, of the I can't speak, from the first season, but... Um, something kind of tells me whoever else he is working with and his master, besides his master we just, you know, we met from a flashback. Maybe there's someone else. I don't know. This is only episode four. We're not even at the halfway point of the show yet. Anything can happen in these next few weeks. But, yeah, I, I mean, still, Sora is a little suspicious, but something just tells me, yes, we will be seeing him again very, very soon. Excuse me. Probably by... Six, seven, or episode eight, maybe? 
I mean, because he's going to have to come up somewhat because he, he gave us clues, but not enough to be like, okay, is the person who possibly, you know, died in this back uh, flashback, is he the big bad? Is it someone else? Is it a woman this time? And it's so many freaking questions. <laughs> But I love it. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually be towards episode four of season two of my next life as a villainess. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys, especially y'all, next Friday for episode five. Bye, guys.